Hey you guys, I'm Ashley and welcome back to another video. If you're new, what's up? But if you've been here before, thank you so much for returning. This video is long overdue. As you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a little bit of their room already, but I wanted to get it just cleaned from start. So I removed everything and we're gonna put everything back. The start of school is right around the corner, so I did go through the boys' clothes. I'm going to donate everything too small for Kai and save everything that was too small for Jaden. Just like in my clean with me for my room, I'm gonna start off by dusting these windows. They are quite dusty, very, very dusty. So yeah, I'm just gonna start off by dusting the windows. While I'm doing that, I wanna go ahead and mention that I will be keeping the navy blue curtains that are up here. These things are blackout curtains, so my toddler and me are at home while the big kids are at school. These things prompt him to sleep during nap time. They make him feel like it's nighttime, so definitely purchase you some blackout curtains for your kids. My kids still use them to this day. I'm also going to clean the inside of their windows. I'm using my favorite cleaner, Perfect Glass. The kids have their own set of cleaners that I keep in their bathroom. I keep multi-purpose cleaner and glass cleaner accessible in these plastic containers. So of course I'm gonna keep on wiping down everything just to make sure I have a nice clean base before I start decorating. The remotes are one of the things that gets the most grimy in this house. So yes, I am wiping down the devices up here. This is the Flexbox. I use the 3 Xfinity as well as the remote. I'm also gonna wipe down the Switch console. As annoying as it is, my toddler definitely puts his fingerprints all over this TV. So I am gonna go ahead and tackle it with a little bit of perfect glass and a towel. There is no such thing as a cleaning saga without a good old vacuum montage. Let's do it. So I did want to mention two products that I'll be using. I'm gonna be using the Carbana Carpet Cleaner. I picked this up from Marshalls and I love it. However, it's almost out. So I picked up this carpet cleaner from the Dollar Tree. Let's see if it works. To my surprise, the Dollar Tree cleaner did actually work. However, your girl forgot to, I don't know what happened. The clip is not here. I don't know what happened to that clip. I had a pretty decent sized spot I wanted to show you, but I'll have to show you later. Just take my word for it, you guys. It actually worked for what I used it for. So my oldest son in here is eight. He really wanted a desk, so we picked this one up from Amazon. 
I shared with you guys this gadget a while ago back when I did their first clean video. This is a light. Their closet has no actual light so this thing works great. It came from Walmart and it requires six AA batteries. I used to have a hanging shoe shelf in here. I took it down to gain more closet space and I purchased this guy from Ikea and I absolutely love it. It looks so nice. The boys have one layer to themselves as well as the one flat on the floor. I also took some of these command hooks from the Dollar Tree. I got about two packs, I believe, up here. I'm hanging their belts as well as a few hats. These things are great and they now come in clear. So the pack at the bottom was the clear ones and the ones I'm putting their hats on are the white ones. I absolutely hate making this bunk bed. However, it provides the boys room to still play on the floor. So in order to make it, I have to pull it away from the wall. I do have long nails, so that also provides a challenge. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and Febreze the bed. I have boys, so enough said. I didn't want to show you guys what I do in order to get this done. I do have to pick the mattress up in order to pull the sheets tight. These sheets were purchased from Ikea as well. I love them a lot because this is the color that I wanted and not only that, it allowed me to buy separates. I only need flat sheets for the boys beds and they have king size pillows for their bed that fits like the full half, top half of their bed, which is pretty cool, but I'm able to buy that in separates. And these things are like five and $6 a piece, so great. I'm gonna give you guys the details to this duvet in just a few, but in order to make the bed, I do lay it flat exactly the way that I want it to look. Then I go ahead and tuck the sides. Now what I mean about laying it the way I want it to look, the top half of the duvet is already folded down in like it's made shape. Just to make sure everything is nice and polished, I do go ahead and tuck the sides and I pull from the bottom of the bunk just to make sure it's really, really tight and snug. I like it to look very, very polished, so that's how I get it done. Again, we added that king size pillow and as well as the standard pillow that came with the duvet. I'm also going to be adding two decorative pillows. We have heroes and Pokemon in this room. I want to show you guys how I do my duvet. This insert was I believe $12.99 from Ikea but it did not have ties. So I cut a hole in it in order to be able to tie this little bow in the corners of the duvet. After doing all the corners, I go into the duvet, duvet, grab the corners, and flip it inside out. It's very simple, but very necessary for someone that's constantly washing comforters. This way, I don't have to worry about it clumping or burning. Now, on to Kai's bed. The only difference of Kai's makeup is the fact that he is mostly into the Spider-Man. So yeah, we have him and Captain America Shield. The duvet sets were purchased from Amazon, and that link will be below. These little bookshelves were actually Ikea spice racks. I've had these for a very long time, but they're still in Ikea. They're actually in the Big Kids' nursery and they are nine and eight now. So you can say I've had these for quite some time. I'm also gonna be adding one up at the top layer bunk so that Jaden can reach books, you know, while he's up in bed. So this next item is really cute. It's a clip lamp. It's able to charge for four hours. Guys, this is not a sponsored video, but I was sent this from a vendor off Amazon and I'll link it down below because this thing is actually really awesome. So prior to us redoing their rooms, again, their bunk beds, we had a Pokemon theme going on in here. These pictures were a DIY that the family did together. We did them over on Instagram. I did record a full little video of how we did it, but I lost all that content. I have no idea what happened to it. But yeah, this is a DIY, super inexpensive way. All you need is the silhouettes and paint and pretty much stencil over the silhouette. Simple and easy. Let's decorate. These Diary of a Wimpy Kid books were purchased from a yard sale by my mom for a dollar each. They've actually been a part of our family since before he could even read. I'm also going to add Shakai's favorite PJ Masks as well as a Barack book as well as an inspirational children's book. We do have a garage of cars right underneath the bunks. This is where we store them and it works out pretty well. I'm also keeping a few more toys in this basket that was from Akai's original nursery. 
So this was only for the humidifier originally. I needed something to place it on as my boys do have nosebleeds. I ended up putting Legos in it as well as some other little toys and stuff. I'll let you guys know on Instagram if I regretted this decision later. I purchased this lamp from TJ Maxx. It actually has a USB port on the side of it to charge his cell phone as well as his computer and wireless mouse. This room is really becoming a big boy room. I added his headphones right to the side of his desk. My little has developed a recent fear of the dark, so I am gonna go ahead and re-add this Pokemon Nightlight from Target back to the dresser. On that wooden shelf above their TV, I'm gonna add these really nice faux plants I picked up from TJ Maxx. This wooden J I've had from the Big Kids' Nursery. I repainted it navy blue and gold, and I also sprayed this J here gold from five below. Though I love this space bear, I have to do function in this corner with their dry erase board and the Megazoid. Jaden recently got this Zelda poster when he got the new Zelda game from GameStop. I'm adding it as well as these DIY Pokeballs that we made as a family together. It's just foam cut in half with paint and we stuck thumbtacks in the back with hot glue. I just love these paintings on the wall. They're like the baby version, the Kai, and then the evolved version, the Jadens. You get it? So cute. Have you guys been seeing these arrows in the Dollar Tree? Well, I purchased them not knowing what to do with them, so I ended up painting them navy blue and gold, and I'm gonna just hang them vicariously in the wall, two by the TV, and then one at the top bunk by that boat shelf for Jaden's bed. The clothing basket was purchased from Marshalls a very long time ago, and shout out to Miles over there in the corner, I did forget to film that. And last, we finally rehang the basketball globe. Believe it or not, Kai actually tries to play with this as well. Time for the reveal. I do hope you guys enjoy our little update. We're gonna be doing the kids' bathroom update as well as the laundry room next, so definitely stay tuned to those videos. Until next time, guys, peace.